Hey, what is up, YouTube? My name is Lava Black, and today I'm going to be doing a graphics tutorial. Now, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a thumbnail for your YouTube videos. Now, originally, a couple of years back, YouTube didn't allow normal people to use thumbnails and banners, but they recently changed that, so now everybody can use a custom thumbnail for their videos and a banner. Now, if you don't know what a, what a thumbnail is, I'm going to show you. Okay, you see this like right here? See this image? That's not actually the video image. That's a, a separate picture that they make, as for example, like this or like this. Those are called thumbnails, and people make them. Uh, and I'm going to show you guys how to make a thumbnail in GIMP, which is a free program. You might be saying, well, why not use Photoshop? Well, because I don't have Photoshop. I'm saving up for it, but I don't have it. Since I'm, I don't condone anything illegal, I'm not going to get it illegally. I'm going to buy it legitly. So I use a free program called GIMP. This is GIMP. Whoa, okay, that's weird. Sorry about that. GIMP, you can get it by going to your, open. you open up your internet browser and you go to www.gimp.org. Uh, or you can find it in Google, just type GIMP into Google, click this link, and you're here. You can go ahead and click download right here, but I already have it, so I'm not going to download it. Now. Once you download it, it should come up with an icon. Um, let me find the icon right here, GIMP. And I have it on my toolbar, so let's go ahead and open it. And once you open it, you're going to be graded with this. This is your this is like this this is your tool panel over here. This is where your layers are. And hold up guys. Alright guys, I'm back. Sorry about that disturbance. Um so as I was saying, this is your tools and these are your layers. Now, to start off a new project, you're going to want to hit over here on the top left hand corner file and hit new whoops let me drag it over here and don't mess around with this template thing you're gonna see this image size width and height now you could say well why don't we use a 1920 by 1080 uh, thumbnail but the reason why I don't do that is because it comes out too big of a file size and YouTube your thumbnails have to be under 2 megabytes 19 by 1920 by 1080 is just too big so you have to use 720. So go ahead and change it. You can highlight it, hit backspace, and type in 1280. Go down here, backspace by 720. That's 720p. You're going to want to make sure this box is clicked, which is, means it's a uh, horizontal landscape. And you don't have to worry about advanced options right now. So just go ahead and hit OK. This is our image right here. <clears throat> yeah, this is this is our image. Now. You might be saying, well, it's just white. Well, I want to change the color. How do I change the color? What you're going to want to do is you want to come over here. There's two little boxes right here. One is your foreground color. One is your background color. In order to change it, go ahead and click on the first one. And then you can click on it. And you can use this slider, just hold and click. And then you can move it up and down. Uh, let's say I want a nice green, since green is my favorite color. Then I can go ahead and click over here and drag this around to find a nice color. So let's say I like that color. So then once you have that color selected, you're going to want to make sure your background is selected by clicking on it. Click on this uh, pink hand, and then you're just want to kind of click anywhere. You can click anywhere. And it's going to change it green. Okay, good. It's green. Now you might be saying, eh, that's a little bit boring. So let's go ahead and change it. What you can do is you can go back into here, click here, select a dark, dark, uh, a darker color of the same color. Click on the second one. Hold up. Sorry about that again, I had another uh, disruption. Uh, okay, so like I said, you want to click the second box again, and you're going to want to do a lighter shade. So let's go back to the green or whatever, and let's find a lighter shade. Now, now that that's selected, go over here and click right next to the paint can, this tool. This is called a gradient. You can There's different types of gradients, as I'll show you. Watch. If I just hold and click and drag down, see how it goes from light to dark? It goes from this color to this color. You can drag to the side, both sides, up and down, you can drag just a little bit to only do a lot, do a little bit there, you can do a whole thing, it really depends. And if you go over here to shape, you can click on this drop box and there's all different ones, like here's a spiral that you can do, which is kinda cool, you know what I mean? Look at that, the littlest, littlest click, there you go. Now, or you could do a square, which is pretty cool, you know, if you just do a solid line like that, but let's we're just going to do a basic one like this, bilinear. Okay, there you go. Okay, now now that we have that, 
let's say you want it, uh, this is going to be a Minecraft template, so let's go ahead and add the Minecraft logo. So I already have it here, a transparent version of it, so we're just going to want to drag it into GIMP and drag it right on the image. Uh, in order to get this image, you just want to go to the internet, type in um, Minecraft logo PNG, which basically means a transparent background, as you can see, transparent background. Click on it, click on any of these, uh, you know, save image and everything, and save it to your desktop. Now, if we want to move it around, you're going to want to click the move tool, select it, and then move it. So we can move that up here. You can resize it by clicking the resize tool, or uh, rotate it by clicking the rotating tool, click it, and then move it. So that's it. Now, you're going to want to click back on the background, so now that we have that. Now, let's go ahead and add some text. So... I'm going to make this an editable text since this is going to be editable so I'm just going to click and drag with the text tool I select the text click and drag now there's the text box now I can go ahead and type let's go ahead and type uh, enter text or enter let's say enter game type okay let's go ahead and do that now we can change the color of that by going over here click the color and change it to a nice red Obviously, this can be changed later on. We can increase the size of it. You know, it doesn't really matter. Uh, you can also change the font. Let's go ahead and change the font to something that looks cool. Um, hmm, what looks cool? I'm looking for a nice font that I have. Let's see, where is that? Here it is. Okay, see, this is a cool font. Um... So yeah, you can go ahead and change that. That's just a basic basic type. So now that we have that, we can go ahead and minimize this. Now click back on the background. Now that that's there, okay? So now we now when you get this, you'll be able to edit that. So now what else do we want? We have Minecraft. We have the game type. Um, if you want to do episodes, that doesn't really matter. Now let's say you want an image. You want your Minecraft skin, let's say. So you're going to want to click off this, click out of that. There's a program called Minecraft Skin Viewer that you can find online. I'll show you how to do that. So open up a new tab, type in Minecraft Skin Viewer, and look at the next one. Skin Viewer 1.1 extended version. Click on that, scroll down, uh, click this download button. It'll bring you to an ad fly. Just go ahead and download it. Once you open it, wait for it to open. Okay, once you open it, you're going. it's going to say, type in a username. So mine is a lava block, 1999, so I show, click that, show my skin. So it's going to show my skin. What I can do is I can move myself around, I can move my hands by clicking and dragging, I can do whatever I want. You know, I, I you know what, that's fine. Okay, I can do that. So, I can click different backgrounds, but for our purpose, you're going to want to click transparent. Go ahead and right click hit save image as click to wherever you want to save it I want to save it to my desktop name it whatever you want and hit save click off of this now you have our image now you can click this image drag it into GIMP and then drag it on your image and as you can see click the move tool and move it down now you have that okay that that's fine now if you're wondering why the text is covering it's because over here the text is above the layer if I move it down your head's going to cover the text, but obviously you don't want that, so you're going to want to move that back up. Or you can just resize this image, so you're going to want to click on that, click on the layer of it, click the resize, click this button, and just drag it down. Click over here, move it, move it back. Okay, now that, that looks just fine to me, if you guys want to add anything else. Basically, if you want to add anything else, just make sure it has a transparent background, just drag it in, resize it, whatever you want. Uh, now you can go ahead and edit this text. I'm going to go ahead and remove the skin as a, because uh, this is going to be a template, so you can add your own skin. So now all you have to do is once you download it, open up the actual GIMP file, and in order to edit the text, uh, I'm going to now export this as, your, I'm going to save as, um, thumbnail, T-H-U-M-B, template, save to my desktop. Now, let's go ahead and X out of this. Now, now when you download, it's going to be this kind of file. So you're going to want to double click it and open it. It's going to automatically open up GIMP. 
and you're going to see it. Now, how do you, you're wondering how do I edit it? Well, you're going to want to click on the text layer, go over to the text icon, and click on it. Now you can just hit backspace and type in whatever you want. Now, if it comes up as a different font, and you can't find the font that I have, you're going to want to go to your search engine, type in Bada, let's see, boom, BB font. And you'll see the first link at dafont.com. Click it here. You'll see this. Hit download. Once you download it, it'll give you a .rar file. You're going to want to open that up, take the font, and look online on how to install a font. Just follow that tutorial, and then that's you'll be able to install the font. Re and then you'll have to close this, reopen up GIMP, and then you'll have the font. So and then you'll be able to do use the font. You can change the color, you can change everything, the size and stuff, then you can just go ahead and use that Skin Viewer program to import your skin into here, and you can search on Google Images for any other images that you want to add. And yeah, it's that's pretty much a basic thumbnail tutorial. Uh, I'll probably do a later tutorial on it, like an advanced thumbnail, but these are some of the thumbnails that I have created for my YouTube series. Uh, there was this, this one is for the Happy Wars, it's pretty basic. Uh, if you're wondering how I did the text, I'll do another tutorial on how to do that, how I have the white stuff and everything. Here's my Hunger Games uh, thumbnail, and my PvP Games thumbnail. So yeah, that's uh, everything. So if you guys are wondering how how to make a thumbnail, that's how you make a thumbnail. I'll also make a video on how to make a banner. Uh, but for right now, you guys should be, uh, you guys should be set uh, on how to do it. So... If you have any questions, uh, leave your leave your question in the comment below. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Now there will be a download link to this once I set it up, but it won't. The link won't be there. You're thinking, oh wait, where's the download link? Well, um, I'm giving away this free um, template, but since I made the template myself, um, what I want you guys to do is all I want you guys to do is hit the like button. Once you hit that like button. Once I get, um, I'm going to keep checking back on the video. Once I get five likes, I'm going to post the download link in the description for you guys to download it. So all you got to do is watch the video so you can learn how to do it. Hit the like button and wait for four other people to hit that like button. And once, so just keep checking back every now and then for the actual thing. Or if you don't want to wait for the download link, still go ahead and hit that like button. It helps me out a lot. It motivates me to make my videos and it makes, and um, it'll help me make me want to make ev all my other videos. Plus, liking my videos really helps. It helps with growing my channel, growing the community. It just overall Im helps a lot. So what you can do is, um, oh jeez. Okay. So since you just watched the video, you saw how to do it. If at any point I was going too fast, just rewind the video, and if you think you can do it yourself, just go ahead and try and make it yourself. That way you can make it your own, and you can call it your own. So, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe. I hope you like this tutorial. Stay tuned for my next video. Um, oh, forgot to tell you. Uh, I'm, doing a, I'm doing a giveaway. I'm going to be giving away a channel banner and a thumbnail. Um, in my next, uh, prob probably in my next video, which is going to be how to make a banner. So, in that video, I'll tell you all the more information. So, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to comment rate and subscribe and have a great day.